Jaina Kramer is being honest about the lingering impact from her divorce. The country singer speaks up about ex-husband Mike Cousins' alleged infidelities throughout the course of their marriage and the portion of their breakup that she finds most unjust. Do you really care to know why Jaina Kramer says ex-husband cheated with more than 13 women? Then watch this video till the end. Jaina Kramer has disclosed the amount of women that Mike Cousin cheated with. In a sneak preview for the forthcoming episode of Facebook Watch's Red Table Talk, the One Tree Hill actress and country music singer grew tearful talking about her rocky marriage with the former NFL quarterback who she formally divorced in 2021. When co-host Jada Pinkett Smith wanted to clarify that he cheated with roughly 13 women, Kramer swiftly added that it was more. The story singer, who has a daughter Joe Lee Six and son Jace Three with the footballer, also spoke out about the difficulty of spending some holidays without her kids. She further criticized him for wrecking her family ambitions because their kids would now have to be shared on vacations. I know we're both in better positions, but I think about this year. My kids won't wake up in my home on Christmas Day. That one's gonna hurt, she remarked, tearing up. That's when I go like, that's not fair. He took away my dream of what I wanted for my family. That's not fair. Kramer and Cawson met and started dating in 2014, momentarily ending things not long after. The 90210 actress subsequently indicated that the separation was due to Cawson's infidelity. The two got back together and subsequently married a year later. However, charges of cheating came to light again, resulting in another breakup and driving Cawson to seek treatment for sex addiction in 2016. During their relationship, Kramer and Cawson had publicly addressed his cheating and difficulties with sex addiction. In a 2019 interview, Cawson remarked that the addiction manifests in various ways for different individuals. It doesn't come from me wanting to have sex, he said. It's me feeling a certain way, and from my entire life looking back, I just use sex as kind of my escape. Cawson stated that after he cheated, he told her, We're honest with one another and said we haven't been perfect. Let's be perfect for each other, or strive to be. With ups and downs, as well as publishing a book on how to cope with cheating in a marriage called The Good Fight, the two attempted to heal their love, but finally terminated things in 2021 after six years of marriage. Kramer and Cawson formalized their divorce in July of that year, three months after Kramer announced their breakup with her farewell message on Instagram. It's time, Kramer said in the post. As I struggle to make sense of a reality I never wanted to think could be conceivable again, those words have now become a reality. I've fought, y'all. I've loved hard. I've forgiven. I've put the work in. I've given all I have, and now I have nothing left to give. Kramer has managed to move on and found love again. The I Hope It Rains composer started dating again earlier this year, becoming Instagram official with Nashville fitness trainer Ian Schnelly. I don't know what the future holds, and honestly, nobody does. Every day I continue to recover, and I know there's still loads of work to do. But gosh, it feels very great to find happiness along the way," the diva added in another heartbreaking Instagram post. To find someone who doesn't look at your scars as a challenge or a problem, but rather helps you hold them and stands there to encourage you with love, strength, and empathy along the way. Did Mike Cawson's cheating prompt Jaina Kramer's divorce? Timeline of his past infidelities. Jaina Kramer and Mike Cawson's relationship has been plagued by infidelity from the very start. Following two divorces from Michael Gambino and Jonathan Schack and a whirlwind engagement to Brantley Gilbert, the former One Tree Hill actor met Cawson in 2014. As self-proclaimed love addicts, the couple fell hard and quickly. Within the first month of their relationship, however, Kramer accused the former NFL star of cheating and deleted him from her social media networks. Cawson later removed his social media accounts entirely and they reunited, marrying in May 2015. The two later had a daughter, Jolie, in January 2016. Less than one year later, it was found that Cawson was unfaithful. I accept that some acts and behaviors have created troubles in my marriage, and I am profoundly sorry for the hurt I have caused Jaina," he stated in a statement at the time. I have and will continue to take the efforts required to improve who I am as a person in order to be a better husband and father. While Kramer didn't hold back about how devastated she was during her following appearance on Dancing with the Stars, later confessing she had flings and flirts while they were apart, the two got back together and renewed their vows in December 2017. Kramer gave birth to baby Jason 2018. I wish everything was a full fairy tale and flawless, but it's not, she stated on the first edition of their Wind Down podcast in 2019. At the end of the day, it may be, if you really genuinely work on it and both people are ready to work on it.
then you can have a great relationship. The couple continued to discuss their ups and downs, generating divorce rumors in 2020 when she erased him from her and the podcast social media profiles. While they later had a New Year's Eve redo and were back on track, Kramer said in January 2021 that she doesn't 1,000% trust Cawson. Two months later, she tweeted a photo of herself weeping after one of their disagreements. Nothing is perfect. This happened a few weeks ago in Canada. I took this picture to somewhat remind myself that even if in the moment it feels like everything is hopeless, it's not, she wrote in March 2021. We spoke about our blowout on this week's podcast, and I believe it's an essential one for everyone to hear. No relationship is flawless, and when blow-ups or disagreements happen, sometimes we assume it's done and finished. But actually, it's an opportunity for development and deeper understanding and to lean into your mate. Now, when you're in the thick of the fire, it's hard to lean in and see that. But just remember, it's not the end of the world. And we all have these times, so you're not alone. One month later, it was announced that Kramer filed for divorce. I fought, y'all. I've loved hard. I've forgiven. I've put the work in. I've given all I have, and now I have nothing left to give. She stated on Instagram at the time, I simply can't fight any longer. It's time to heal. Thank you for all the love, heart, and support. In many ways, you've battled on this path with me, and for that, I'm grateful. I'll always urge you to continue the good fight, but you can't fight it alone. Reports that Cousin, who has yet to publicly remark on the breakup, cheated again shortly thereafter. According to a source, Kramer uncovered once again that Cossum was unfaithful. They went to couples therapy every week. They were engaged in couples therapy and were working on their relationship. Then she found a recent adultery and it was the final time she could forgive him. The person added, It was the precise pattern that's occurred several times. Jaina Kramer's Relationship History Michael Gambino Kramer described the alleged violence she had during her first marriage when she married Michael Gambino in Las Vegas in 2004. I still have that worry when I'm alone, him coming to grab me and tossing me out of bed," she said on Nightline in 2016. The verbal and mental torture they give you is even more horrible than the physical because it pulls you down even more with the words. Kramer remembers hiding in the bushes after Gambino assaulted her and attempted to murder her while he was under the influence. He was later convicted of premeditated attempted murder in 2005, the same year they separated. While he was freed on parole after five years behind bars, Gambino died by suicide. Jonathan Shack. Kramer began dating her prom night co-star in 2008, and the twosome got engaged in 2009. While they exchanged vows in July 2010, Kramer and Shaq announced their split in August of that year, calling it quits only 12 days after the wedding. Their divorce papers were completed in June 2011. More than a decade after their breakup, Shaq released a photograph from their wedding, tweeting, I had to explain this photo to my kid today. I told him I've been married three times, but I got it right when I married his mother, Julie Solomon. Kramer lashed back against Shaq, who she referred to as her friend on her show. It disturbed me, she replied. I ended up emailing John because he continued remarking about how it was a dreadful day and nothing was genuine about it. And I'm like, can you be kind and not say horrible things about me on Twitter? Brantley Gilbert Kramer's next high-profile affair was with a fellow musician. The two got engaged after six months of dating in January 2013. They called off their wedding preparations that August. I'm really sorry for the person that I was and the way that I wasn't healthy enough to be in that relationship, she said while reflecting on the engagement during an April 2020 podcast episode. I wasn't the best version of myself in that relationship. I simply wasn't. I always feel a tiny amount of remorse that I didn't manage things properly. Gilbert, for his part, remarked during a 2014 radio interview that their relationship simply didn't work. He explained, Some things occurred and it didn't work out. I think the world of her. She's one of the most sincere individuals I know. And that's the honest-to-God truth. I wonder about the world of that tiny kid. If you talk about a rough run through relationships, then you must have to talk about Jaina Kramer. She's definitely had her fair share of huge heartbreaks. Well, that's it for this episode. We'll see you again in the next one.